Uh, the next item on the agenda is um, uh, Te Pātaka o Rākaihotu, Banks Peninsula Community Board. Glory Peden. Morena. Thank you, Morena. Tori and um, Tyrone. Thank you. Okay, um, a few updates. I, I do um, take it that our board report has been read, and then there is a few things in there um, that has been going on lately. Uh, just a few things we'll, we'll point out to everyone. Last um, month we had our um, board meeting at the Gaiety in Akaroa. Um, public engagement was strong on the 15th of March, um, with several public forums booked and a couple of hot topics. The board was keen to accommodate the expected large numbers um, and the meeting was moved to the Gaiety. Um, at that time also we were in discussions about COVID and we wanted to make sure that even if we did change alert levels that we could still cater for the, the engagement that, that was requested from the community. Uh, public forum topics um, included the Akara public picnic tables, roading issues, steadfast development, LTP in the Akara Service Centre Citizens Hub desk and the Akara Wastewater. Um, that day we had 30 to 40 public um, come to that, that meeting, so hence why we did make that decision to move to a bigger location. Um, it was well attended. And every single one of them um, in favour and supporting the um, continuing services, you know, the continuing service centre in Akaroa and the funding of that. Um, one of the things that was also brought up at that meeting was the, um, we had um, representation from the Akaroa Bays Lions Club um, put, um, asked us to consider allowing them to fund the construction and erection of shelters over some of the existing tables in Akaroa, including the barbecue which the Lions installed some years back. Uh, the purpose for this was to commemorate the um, 50th anniversary of the Akaroa Bays Lions Club in February next year, um, enhance the Akaroa furniture scape, provide much needed shelter from the sun for visitors and residents. The photo shown there is um, of a similar project which is in Kaikoura. So it's, like I say, quite exciting having community funding come in to, to help add to the environment and our um, council assets. Uh, come to Parry Group in Akaroa um, regarding the cemeteries, um, requested development of the western area of the Akaroa Catholic Cemetery and the installation of the Lynch Gate, um, Lynch Gate Memorial Gate. Um, council are currently preparing background documentation including conservation plan to support the development plan for all three Akaro cemeteries. Uh, next steps are to seek input from Anuku Runanga. Um, that was a fantastic um, report and we want to thank staff for coming out to Akaroa and Head of Parks to come out and actually work through the issues. And so it is great to actually have the community board working with staff to come up with um, moving forward issues that are going on. So. So big thanks to, to staff coming out that day. And it's, look, it's worth acknowledging staff because, I mean, we, we know that there are some tricky issues um, on the peninsula, you know, in the one-size-fits-all thing. You know, the geography doesn't always suit and uh, the regulations don't always conform to, to how we need them. So we really appreciate the engagement there mm -hmm. that we are getting from staff on that. Yeah, it is appreciated. And lastly... Just regarding community funding, um, recently we did have a um, combined meeting with the Christchurch City Council staff and Rata Foundation regarding upcoming, upcoming community funding. Um, groups from Birdlings Flat, Little River, Pigeon Bay, Rural Intendants. Um, but it is important how, how the money in the community funding gets used with our community groups. Small amounts of funding from Council and Rata do go a long way, So, it, and it's acknowledged by the community as well. So. That's just one thing we wanted to acknowledge that is going on at the moment. We do know that Strength and Community Fund is, is um, well used and yeah, well sought after. But yeah, so that's us. I, I did want to acknowledge your missing out on a penguin. Um, and I, I would say that we'd lend you the one that we bought for um, <laughs> the Tūranga, but um, 
it, it, it is it belongs staying, in Tūraga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it is staying nearby. I mean, it's good to hear that it's it's in, in Taitapu, but, um, you know, it was... There's, there's quite a few penguins that I know that, that there were um, I locations. Know. There, there, there were, I mean, they went for amazing prices. Yeah, but. it's going to be interesting to see where the Akarol one has ended up because apparently that was, um, I'm still not sure where that actually has gone. But um, oh. it's in Akarol yeah. somewhere, but apparently there's um, a, a, the community find. So they're, they're having a wee community, you know, go out and find a penguin. So right. where the penguin has ended up, it's, it's going to be quite exciting. But um, the last thing is um, Easter weekend was, like I say, thank you for everyone for travelling local and um, heading out to Akaroa. It was um, a very busy, warm weekend um, right. over Easter and roads were very busy, but um, everyone was very good. But no, thank you. Excellent. Andrew, you'd like to move this? Do I have a seconder? Yeah. Uh, James Goff, <coughs> put that motion. If you must, yes. Yep. Um, <laughs> I, I must, but I'll keep it brief. Um, just relating to the um, Akaroa Cemeteries matter, I'd like to thank staff for work that was done relatively quickly in preparation for the 180-year anniversary of the arrival of the Comte de Paris with the um, Akaroa early French and German settlers on board. Um, at that weekend celebration, there were a number of descendants of those early settlers, many of whom still live in Akaroa, many of whom have um, spread far and wide since then, but I'd like to particularly thank staff th for the work that was done um, repairing and restoring three, not the two that were expected, gravestones, so two plus one, um, and for work done removing two um, damaging wilding trees that had become um, planted in some of the, the grave sites. Um, the background, and we've heard it in previous um, LTP and annual plan um, submissions in the past, is that the um, cemeteries group, the early settlers group, had been very concerned at the lack of maintenance at the cemeteries. They were delighted with the work that staff have done and are very pleased with the way the cemeteries have been maintained. So that actually represents huge progress, both with the work being done and in the relationships in Akara. It was great to see that resolution passed by the community board that now gives clear direction about the um, memorial gate and the possibility of additional burial space. So it was great that the community board were able to represent the community view in passing that resolution. Thank you very much. I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Thank you very much. Thank you.